with KHON2 weather, Kamaka Pili. Aloha Puakahi, happy Monday. It was a damp start for some areas across the island chain as windward showers continue to be funneled in. So what we're going to look for tomorrow is scattered showers will remain for most windward areas, but that's going to be a little a notch down in terms of shower chances compared to today. But that doesn't mean that the shower chances will remain on the lower side. This is going to be a little break before we have yet another round of wet weather across the islands thanks to some incoming shower activity. So we're going to keep slight, uh, slightly our... Ua and our ocean conditions slightly elevated. We do have a small craft advisory now for the eastern waters that has been extended through uh, and through tomorrow at 6 p.m. Wind advisory for the summits of Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa reissued. That will be taking us through at least tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Now in terms of our ocean conditions, it's all going to be focused over the south facing shores. We do have this current swell that begins to fill in but it's around a Wednesday when a new and a larger swell will start to fill in, peaking around Wednesday night into to Thursday and potentially to some high surf advisory levels. Again, that will be all for south facing shores. Now, in terms of what we've seen today, again, pretty consistent with these incoming shower activity for windward and Mauka sections. Now, we have that which would be one contributing factor to the showers. We also have another contributing factor you can see with this counterclockwise motion finally moving towards the east. This is an upper level disturbance that has its own instability and with that and the low level showers that is being pushed in with the trades could lead to some periods of more enhanced showers and of course bringing in some cloud coverage so we've been seeing partly to mostly cloudy skies. Even for today and this will lead us for at least another hour or so the threat of thunderstorm activity for Hawaii Island because of that disturbance and its instability. So if we fast forward through tomorrow, again, may have a little break, but some areas could continue to see some damp conditions. But as we get into Wednesday, that's when the moisture of an old cold front will be moving in, and that's going to bump back up rain chances. That will be Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. But it's at that time, another disturbance will be moving overhead, and that's going to be bumping up instability once again and keeping some shower chances progressing through the weekend. Now, that would be for windward and even taking a look at leeward sides we do see showers to be likely even occasional as we get through Thursday Friday that looks to be mostly during the day windward sides that will be mostly at least the the main focus of the more impact of the showers would be the evening and the morning hours now in terms of the Makani winds will begin to weaken we're gonna still have trade winds tomorrow that though will become more light and variable as we get out of Wednesday into the second half of the week and at that point say a hui ho to our trade winds they're not going to be here at least for extended forecast.